Hello, my name is Skip Foster, and I am on the product development team with Ryan Steinolfsson for Accelerate Marketing. And today we're talking to you about live streaming for business. Um, it's, it's, it's not a new concept, but it is definitely becoming a very popular concept, especially with the advent of the apps on the phone. You've got Periscope and Blab and Meerkat, and you could do uh, now Facebook Live and uh, YouTube Live. There's several different things, and, and, and tomorrow there's probably going to be a dozen more for sure because it's definitely a very fast-growing uh, uh, technology area. Uh, we used to have to get out the big cameras and put them on the tripods and get out the lighting and the stage and get the background right and have everything perfect and then go to a live streaming platform that was expensive. Uh, but now they've made it as easy as just turning on your telephone and uh, going over to the app, whether you're using Periscope or Blab or uh, Meerkat or whatever you want to use. It's just a click away nowadays. So live streaming for business is very important. I just want to cover 10 things that live streaming can do for your business. And the first one is it can give you an instant interaction and a response from your customers or your prospects. So especially if you're on Periscope or Blab or talking to your customers, um, they can either speak to you directly through Blab or in a comment section in Periscope and a Meerkat. And that's awesome because before it was uh, get out the cameras and do a create a video, put it up or put up a Facebook post and then wait for somebody to comment. But with the advent of these quick apps in the live stream area, now we can have instant feedback to an application or instant feedback to a product launch. Um, you can get on Blab and you can show a new product or a new piece of software and tell everybody to go there and, and tell them what you think and you're going to get instant feedback and be able to go right back to your development team, right back to your product team and take care of it. So uh, having the in instant interaction with your customers and or your prospects uh, is extremely valuable. Second point I have <clears throat> is they see the person behind the brand instead of just knowing your logo or creatively planned color scheme. I know, you know, corporations spend a lot of money on making sure everything's right. And yes, there is a psychology to color and a psychology to logo. But seeing the human being side of things, seeing the person, getting in touch with the person and knowing that, yes, there's somebody just like me using the product. There's somebody just like me that loves the product, that can hear me, that can listen to me, that they actually care and want to make their product better. That's important rather than just uh, putting out a forum and saying, well, just let us know what you think, but actually going out to where the people are, aka uh, Periscope and Blab and, and Meerkat and saying, talk to me, tell me. You're going to get the good and the bad, And but isn't that what you really want is to make your product better. I mean, we don't just want to hear all the good things about our product and say, yay us, you know, we did a good job, go team. But we also want to hear the places we failed because we want to make it better. Um, so this is a definitely a part of being able to do that. My third point is that it allows you to come out from behind the veil and look them in the eyes. All right. And this kind of ties into the second point, obviously. But um, there's there's always what, you know, we say the corporate veil or the, the we can't pierce a certain level in, in a corporate tower because people seem untouchable. And when you come down and you step down to the people's level, because we are all just people, too. Right. We all still have to deal with things and customer service and all that. So it allows you kind of to peek out and say, Hey, I'm just like you. I'm a human being. I use products also. What do you think of our product? Let me help you fix it. The fourth, one, fourth point is in the case of Blab and a few others like Zoom, you can see them for the first time as well. Um, I know I'm kind of sounding a little bit redundant, but actually the, the, my point on this one is that Again, you know, uh, we have emails and we have forums and all that, and it's easy to, um, you know, just put out a scathing review on, on when my typing fingers go through there, or to get on Yelp, or to get on Facebook, or or your Google page, your Google My Business page, and just put out a review of of exactly what I think about you and your company. But when you look me in the eye and you get to see your customer for the first time, there's something about that that kind of melts that just a little bit. I mean, yes, they are still allowed to hit you where it hurts and, and tell you that your product or your service stinks. But in the end, you know, we're all people, too. 
you can share immediate news or new products without the use of PR firms or and contacting press agencies, etc. I mean, what it, what would happen if you actually had a new product as a brand, and instead of you know getting on the phone and getting all the cameras together and calling your press agency and and yes, I mean all that still has to be done. You still have to create the new website page and and get the new product launch going. But what if instead you went straight to market and said, okay, the page is ready. I'm on Periscope. Uh, you know who, who's ready to buy? Here's the link. Here's the page. Come on, go buy it. Tell me what you think. Um, that would that's it's very powerful to be able to immediately go to a news point or go to a new product launch uh, without having to you know think about the launch process and, and t- put all the team together and everything pick up your phone you know point it toward the product talk about the service and and it's done it's launched so uh, there's a huge cost savings there uh, live interviews with previously unknown players in your business, like, for instance, executives or even the people who drive your trucks or run your office. People just want to see people. They just they want to know that there are people that work in your brands and in your business. And there's nothing better than to pick up the phone and, and start a Periscope uh, broadcast and show the mailroom or walk up to the vice president's office and say, you know, here he is, or even the CEO that maybe people know their name, but they've never seen their face and they don't even really know that they're, you know, a real person. Uh, to be able to just walk down the halls of your business and say, you know, here's the secretarial pool, here's here's this, here's this room, here's this room, here's our marketing team, here's, uh, uh, you know, what, whatever department that you want to show, your accounting department or whatever, um, to let people know that there are behind the scenes, that people want to know what's going on behind your business. And uh, Periscope and Blab, of course, give them an awesome instant access to do that. Seven is live streaming for business can allow you to show behind the scenes what we were just kind of talking about stories of your brand that originally took a large video budget crew editing time now can be done by turning on your smartphone uh, what if you fired up your phone and maybe you're a, a restaurant brand or something and you fired up your phone with periscope and you went back to the kitchen and you started showing the sizzling steak on the grill or you showed all the other foods being prepared um, or you were creating, a, making a product, and and the machines were running, and and uh, you know putting the labels on the machine or the caps on the bottles or whatever. But just show us. I mean, it's like the the Food Network shows where you, I think, unwrapped is what I'm thinking of, where they take you behind the scenes. Uh, um, we love those shows, and we love those shows because it shows us how things are made. And you can do that without having to pull in a big film crew. You can fire up Periscope and start walking back into your machine operation and showing the assembly line and showing all those boxes going into the trucks, heading off to the retail stores or the customers. And uh, it's a fantastic way to just randomly, impromptu, instantly uh, take care of that. Number eight, you can conduct impromptu training or repeat questions your support team receives, then refer them to the broadcast, screenshot videos you did when doing your live streaming for business, okay? So, for instance, when I I wrote this, what I was thinking of is, is a lot of support teams get the same questions over and over and over again. And what do they have to do? They have to answer them over and over and over again. What if your support team got on Blab? And they sat there and they said, okay, the support team is going to be live on Blab for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, every Thursday morning. And you can come on there and you can ask them any question you want. What a fantastic way, not only to put a face to the support team, because a lot of times we think that, you know, you're not paying attention to us. You don't care. You're throwing away the emails or you're just, you know, uh, just doing something other than taking care of us. Wouldn't it be awesome if your support team went to the people? Wouldn't it be awesome if your support team got on on Meerkat or on Periscope and said, here I am, ask me anything. I'm the creator of Software XYZ, and our main problem we've been having this week is this, and we have solved it, we've fixed it, but I think some of you are also having problems with it. Come ask me any question you want. What a fantastic way to do training. Maybe there's a part of a product that you have that people are constantly asking, calling your support and asking questions. How do you do this? How do you do this? How do this? It's the same question over and over again. Usurp that. Get on Blab. Get on Periscope. Point to the part that's always a problem that people don't quite understand and broadcast about it. Okay? Number nine. 
Allow your customers to jump in live on applications like Blab to ask questions about your product. Same type of a th- deal, but just say, look, we're here, we're open. Blab is a fantastic tool. It's a four, if you haven't seen it before, it's blab.im, and it's a four-box, uh, four-person uh, arena where you can get on with another person from your staff oh, and, a, and somebody else from marketing and leave an open hot seat and somebody else, a customer can jump in and say, hey, how do you fix this? How do you work with this? Or how do you deal with this? Or wouldn't it be great if we had a feature that did this? I think that you could come up with the advancements, especially as a software team, I'm thinking, that could be made by just going on Blab and saying, what do you want us to do with our product? Uh, there's so many productivity tools that I do that I would love to be able to sit down with the team and be able to say, hey, uh, what about this feature or this feature? Could we add this or that? And maybe things that obviously that they've never thought of. I'm sure there's things that they hear a dozen times a day, but um, there are always things that can make us better. And my last point is live streaming for business can bring your brand top of mind delivered right to their phone instead of waiting for them to drive past your billboard and see your ad on a TV show they may or may not be watching. Um, Everybody, just about everybody, I won't make a blanket statement, but just about everybody's got one of these in their hands. All right. Now, I may or may not drive past your billboard like this says. I may or may not watch your TV show with, with your ad in it. But I've got a phone, and if you can teach me that you're on Periscope through whatever social media channels that you have, and you can show me that you're going to be on Blab next Thursday morning at 10 a.m., and uh, you can tell me that you're going to be broadcasting from this or that platform. Um, First of all, think of the money that is saved by a CEO or a product manager of your team just grabbing their phone and firing up the app and saying, here I am. Uh, Let me tell you about what's going on in in our business. Let me tell you what uh, is coming up next. Let me tell you what we're working on with our new software program. So live streaming for business can save you so much money, and it keeps you top of mind. You only have to do it a few times, uh, or excuse me, a few minutes a day to be able to remain top of mind in somebody's head that, hey, this brand is out there. They're reaching out. They're actually making an effort to show their face and become a part of the community. We have uh, at Accelerate Marketing a program called Livestream Blueprint. It's a fantastic way for any business or brand that is interested in getting started in learning the uh, basic steps and some of the many advanced steps as well, tricks uh, that go along with uh, being involved in Periscope and Blab and marketing your product through Livestream. Because marketing you through uh, live stream and taking your business out to the masses and out to where the people are is the key for this century. We're in 2015, heading for 2016, and it's not going to get any smaller. It's not going to get any slower. Live stream is here to stay, especially with the phones and the smart uh, uh, smartphones and the apps that we have today. So go to livestreamblueprint.com. You sign up and uh, find out what we're all about. Join us in there, and we're going to teach you a few things about how you can use live stream for your business. Thank you very much. My name is Skip Foster. And like I said in the beginning, I am with Accelerate Marketing on the product development team. Uh, the owner of the company is Ryan Steinolfson. And he can be found also on Twitter. Uh, you just have to search his name, Ryan Steinolfson, on Google. And he's there all over the place. So make sure you sign up at livestreamblueprint.com. And I'll see you later. Thank you. <laughs>